All right, so it's 12.23 a.m. and um, I'm about to start filming Setup Wars Episode 9. So apologies in advance if I don't sound enthusiastic or energized. I'm really exhausted. I'm winning on about five hours of sleep. So I'm just going to go and jump straight into the video. Screw the intro. So some of you guys have been asking me where I've been getting my games from that I feature in my PC build videos. And I actually get them from G2A. And most of you guys already know what that is. But for those of you that don't, it's basically a site where you can buy CD keys for dirt cheap. I actually picked one up for Witcher 3, CSGO, and Crisis 3, all for a really great price. I'm going to be benchmarking those for the Ultimate Gaming PC that's coming in August. But I'll go ahead and drop a link down below if you guys want to check that out. But anyways, on with the show. Alright, so the five chosen for this week are Alessio, Eric, Matt, Maurice, and Rocky. Congratulations for making it into Setup Wars Episode 9. Uh, all the products I mentioned in this video, by the way, will be linked down below, as well as any product that I recommend in this episode. It will have its very own special section down below. So first up, we have Alessio, and it looks like we have a fairly simple setup. A single 23-inch LG monitor with a Corsair K70 keyboard and a Parix MX200 mouse. I'm sorry, but that mouse pad has to go. You also got the Turtle Beach PX22 headset on the table and LEDs for both your PC and your desk. So point for coordination. Cable management is great and I can't help but notice that the desk has holes in it for routing cables through, which is awesome and it definitely cleans up your desk. Since most of your stuff is black, the white PC on your cabinet sticks out and it's actually the first thing that I noticed. Uh, but the PC is rocking an AMD FX 8310 with a GTX 960 GPU inside the stylish NZXT Phantom 240 case. And as always, I'll link the parts down below for anyone that's interested. So a few things I would recommend. Uh, first off, the tape on your desk seems out of place and it would look a lot better on that little shelf on the right side. Also, an AMOV headphone hanger would keep your headset off the desk and add a nice look to your setup. And lastly, since your cables are going in one direction from your PC, an omni mount cable wrap would clean it up nicely. Uh, other than those minor fixes and a new mouse pad, you have a simple and clean setup. Thank you, Alessio, for entering Setup Wars. Next up is Eric, and we have a man cave setup. By the way, you have my approval for the black and red walls. Starting from the left, we have a Dell XPS Studio laptop, then your actual desktop, followed by a 36 inch Sony Bravia TV hooked up to your PS4, and lastly, an Alienware 17 R2 gaming laptop hooked up to a pair of Astro A40s. It looks like you have all of your bases covered, I mean you got productivity and gaming laptops, console gaming and even PC gaming as well. Combine all that with your mini fridge and you are guaranteed no sunlight for weeks. On the desk we have two ASUS 21.5 inch monitors, a Razer Black Widow Ultimate keyboard and a Razer Mamba wireless gaming mouse. Props for having a symmetrical and very clean setup, uh, you got the webcam in the middle, Logitech speakers on both sides and in the middle of both monitors. I also noticed that you have the Razer Kraken headphones hanging from the TV and a pair of Sony wireless headphones near the chest set. I do like the red LEDs and I think it goes really well with the atmosphere you created. However, I would prefer them installed underneath the desk near the wall instead of on top. Not only will you get a really nice glow effect against the wall, but the ground will also get illuminated as well and this way the LED strips won't be visible. It will look a lot better, trust me. I also like how you organize the stuff on the shelves with a bunch of your games and the PS3 controllers. Although I would strongly recommend you to pick up 5 more PS3 controllers for those empty slots. I mean I'll go ahead and send them to you if you promise to put them there. Cable management looks good from what I can tell, however I'm just gonna assume that it's a mess since you are covering them with pillows. What a cheater. Anyways, you got a really cool man cave setup. Thank you, Eric, for entering Setup Wars. Matt is next up, and we have a dual monitor setup, two LG 22-inch monitors mounted above the desk. You also have the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard and a M95 mouse, along with an extended mouse pad. Also on the desk, you have the Creative T20 speakers, uh, Sennheiser HD headphones hanging on the side, and your LED strips in the back. Excellent work on wire management. There are no cables touching the ground, so you get a point for that. Uh, so a few things, I'm pretty sure you have a good reason having your setup on the right side of the desk. So I'm not going to recommend moving it to the center, which is what I would have preferred. So I'm just going to recommend an ATH hanger for your headset. But that's basically it, pretty straightforward and clean setup. Thank you Matt for entering Setup Wars. Next up is Maurice and it looks like we have a single 24 inch Dell monitor, a Logitech G105 keyboard and a Rat9 wireless mouse. 
You also have some pretty cool looking speakers from Edifier, and I'm really digging that desk pad you picked up from Ikea. It really blends in beautifully with your Ikea desk and eliminates the need for an actual mouse pad. Great job with cable management, I don't see any wires, and you have a pretty dope custom PC as well. There's an i5-4690K CPU paired with the GTX 970 WinForce Edition inside the Define S case with red LEDs. And as always, I'll link the parts down below for anyone that's interested. One thing I recommend is perhaps picking up an actual monitor riser. Not only will that look sweet with your setup, but you can also have your Xbox controller, the external hard drive, and the speaker knob in a dedicated spot right under your monitor. And since it's centered directly in front of you, it will be a lot easier to reach. And I actually listed a few options down below if you want to check them out. Other than replacing the white mouse with a black one to better match your setup, I would recommend a pair of headphones since I don't see that you have one. I recently picked up a pair of one of the best budget gaming headphones you can buy under 25 bucks and I actually approve of the quality, but I'll go ahead and link that down below if you want to check that out and it'll go really great with your setup. But yeah, I'm really digging your black and red theme setup. Thank you Maurice for entering Setup Wars. Last but not least, we have Rocky and it looks like a productivity setup with the 27 inch iMac and the Magic Mouse and Trackpad. On the desk, we have the WAST custom made keyboard, KRK Rocket 5 speakers and the Rode NT1 mic hooked up to the Hale boom arm. I like the fact that you hung your M50Xs on the wall and the speaker is on the ISO acoustic stand. Everything is nicely organized and you did a phenomenal job on the wire management. Honestly, I'm really impressed that you were able to hide the wires on an adjustable desk. It's definitely not an easy task. I was going to recommend a monitor stand like the previous setup, but then I saw that you're using this little box under the Focusrite audio interface as your stand and you even have a USB hub and lightning connector inside for easy access. You really did think of everything, didn't you? Honestly, if I can vote, I would easily vote for your setup. I mean, you don't need a quadruple monitor setup with LEDs and a $50,000 PC to win. Sometimes all it takes is a simple, clean, and clever setup like this to impress me greatly. Brilliant setup, Rocky. Thank you for entering Setup Wars. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Wars. Voting begins now, so make sure you guys drop a comment down below and vote on who has the best desk setup. Voting will conclude this Saturday and I will announce a winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram account, so if you guys want to know who wins, make sure you are following me there. As always, if you guys enjoy watching these series and want me to continue doing them every Monday, let me know by smashing that like button, that's the only way I can tell you guys actually enjoy watching it. Uh, but anyways, that's it, thank you so much for watching, this is Ed from TechSource, I'm gonna go to sleep, and I'll see you guys in the next video.